Let me tell you a story about life. I know we've all got our hills to climb, but one morning I find that those hills turn to mountains in front of my eyes, and the roads turn to rivers instead. Now the water's up over my head, and I don't know how I got in this mess, but I'm gasping for air through the black and the red, just when I thought it was over. Something inside kept pushing me on, and ooh, just a little bit higher. Oh yeah, ooh, just a little bit more. What's holding you down is only making you stronger. Oh yeah, so. Saying I've been there, and I know I felt these feelings you're trying not to show. But the road that we got it ain't long, so just remember where you've already gone. Oh, come on, it's just a little stormy way there. Come on, don't you know it gets better? Come on, won't you get yourself together and bring it all, bring it all home just when it feels like it's over. Asking you 
Tell me why is that forsaken me When you've had enough And you feel you can't get up You can Cause there's one who knows your pain And he will be your strength And he'll take your hand The moment you stand to silence all your fears He wants to wipe away your tears If you'll reach out and take his hand And when you've taken all that you can take He will wrap you in his warm embrace and he'll say, when you've had enough And you feel you can't get up You can Because I know your pain And I will be your strength And I'll take your hand The moment you stand Welcome to Mormon Channel Studio. I'm your host, Bree Ray, and today we have two special guests with us. First, we heard Higher by Amber Lynn Stoppel, and we just heard The Moment You Stand from Ashley Hess. Thank you for being with us today, ladies. Thank you for having yeah, us. Thank you. <laughs> I'd love to know kind of the background behind both of those songs and what kind of inspired you to write them and get you to this point of completion. Me first? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Um, I wrote Hire a few years ago, and it's actually a really funny and embarrassing story how that came about. My favorite. <laughs> it turned into such an inspirational song, but if you knew the backstory, which you're about to. <laughs> um, so I, I am not, like, I like hiking, but I'm not, like, a serious hiker. And I had some friends that wanted to go on this hike that they had never gone on before, so we had no idea, like, how hard the hike was until we got there it was supposed to be like a three-hour hike it turned into like an eight-hour hike wow. and I cried like half of the mountain <laughs> <laughs> so I I I just remember just being like I like I felt like my body literally could not move another muscle but it kept going because like literally you're on a mountain and it's like okay either I keep going or they fly a helicopter in here and take me off the mountain exactly. um which it would have been a much cooler story but um <laughs> I I just felt like my body like was doing things that I never thought that it could or I never gave it credit to do. And I got home and, you know, I was obviously so excited that I didn't die on the mountain. But I was thinking about our our spirits and like how we um, our emotions or our or our mor morale or whatever you want to call it, um, how we feel like we can't we just can't take anymore. We just can't. And we doubt ourselves and we're like, this is it. This is, I mean, how many times have we been down and been like, this is it. This is the bottom. I can't do anything more. And we do. And so um, I just kind of thought about what it would feel like to like be in the, the afterlife or wherever it is that um, we can look back on our lives and be like, I was so close and how awful that would feel to know that you were so close and you gave up. And so that's where the inspiration for hire came to think of like, you're almost there and you cannot like just turn around and go back when you're so close. So that's where that came from. Wow. I love that. That's so cool. And it's awesome that you could pull all of that and that <laughs> great meaning from a hike and put it into <laughs> such an amazing song. That's so, so awesome. So Thank way to go. You. Ashley, what about you? So my inspiration is a little bit heavier than that. Um, so I was actually inspired by the story that I read about this woman who had like the craziest experience. So she found out all on the same day that her husband had died, but he was actually murdered by this man um, because apparently her husband was having an affair. And so the woman he was having an affair with, that woman's husband actually killed her husband. And so it was just this crazy story. And she was left with five kids um, to take care of on her own. And I can't even imagine like what that would feel like. Um, but she just reading her story and her perspective and how she overcame that was so inspiring to me because she um, I mean, was given probably one of the hardest trials you could act, 
absolutely experience, but she made the best of it and she relied on a higher power to pull her through that. Um, and I, it just touched me so much because when I know when I've had um, hardships and trials, that anchor for me is the same thing. And it's just so comforting to know that we have somebody who's experienced all that that we can turn to that can um, pull us out of those dark days um, because we all experience them. And so um, just kind of her story and then just personal experiences that I've had were just the inspiration behind me writing that song. Well, those are both beautiful messages and I'm so happy that I could hear those from you guys. So, and I'm excited. You're both going to sing together now. Yes. yes. What song will we be hearing? How Great Thou Art. Perfect. Take it away. Say 